Hello, little Bohabs. In our last episode, we drew Gorgo, and I figured, now well, let's follow it up with Gorgor, who is not from a classic monster movie in the sense, but he comes from a very special little horror film called Phallus in Wonderland, released by the scum dogs of the universe, Gwar. Now, this is the third Gwar character I've drawn after former lead singer Odorous Yerungus and current lead singer Blothar the Berserker. Gorgor's a little different, though, in that he's not a musician in the band. He is a gigantic, rampaging, crack-addicted Tyrannosaurus Rex. And if that isn't interesting enough of a character for you, then you're watching the wrong channel. So I've drawn quite a few of my favorite musicians, a lot of whom are horror-based, and Guar is one that I've kept on returning to most often. Um, anybody who's familiar with Guar knows that they have a pretty complex mythology and a lot of fun characters to draw from. Guar has been a huge inspiration to me. I think only only Alice Cooper has probably influenced me more than Guar has, mostly just because I'm always very impressed with how much hard work the artists and performers in the band do and coming up with new stories new uh, material. It's always amazing to see what they've come up with and amazing to look back after all these years they've been creating. Gorgor has been around for pretty close to 40 years now and oddly enough Gorgor is one of their oldest characters. If you see the documentary called This is Guar, which I very highly recommend, Gorgor goes all the way back to when they were college art students just creating all sorts of weird props to go in their shows. Gorgor's had quite a few of the giant suit characters that appear in their shows. Characters like um, Cardinal Sin or Jucifer, Dickie Duncan, Blowfart, but Gorgor is definitely the most popular of all of them. He comes back in one form or another, mostly because Gorgor has been killed off more times than Kenny McCormick, and he usually shows up again and again in different forms, like a cyborg or a zombie or whatnot. Now, sadly, I've never actually seen Gorgor in any of the shows that I've been to. I guess it all depends on the venue, if the venue is big enough to accommodate this gigantic Tyrannosaurus suit. The Gorgor I'm drawing here is probably one of the latter-day ones, mostly because the it's really hard to get a good look at him in Phallus in Wonderland. So, yeah, jumping back to Phallus in Wonderland, and so, yeah, even though Gorgor is a really old character, he didn't really get a proper origin until they made their movie or their long-form music video, whatever you want to call it. It, it should have won the Grammy, but whatever. Uh, Gorgor, of course, starts off as um, a slimy Muppet coming out of an egg, and then it gets addicted to crack, and then by the end of the movie, it's our, it's grown to kaiju size, goes on a rampage, and the scum dogs decide to kill it for some reason. I don't know, I guess they didn't like anything being naughtier than they were. Gorgor has come back time a few, uh, you know, every now and then it comes back, I guess just whenever they find the right time for it, the right place for it. Uh, Gorgor has shown up most recently in the graphic novel Duoverse of Absurdity tie-in with the, the New Dark Ages album, which I enjoyed a lot. And who knows, hopefully I'll see the big uh, crack-addicted dinosaur myself someday. Once again, just really got, got to give a lot of respect to Guar, to all the artists, musicians, performers, and everyone in the slave pit who have brought these insane, disgusting creatures to life. Everyone out there, definitely follow Guar along. For more information, like behind-the-scenes stuff, definitely check out uh, artist Don Draculich's YouTube channel called What Did You Do in the Guar Daddy, which is where I learned a lot about who made what and all that. I figured I wasn't there, although I would have liked to have been, and I would have loved to have worked with a lot of, in, uh, a lot of crazy artists like this. Keep on surprising us, guys. Keep on shocking us. Keep on spraying us with various things, and keep on unleashing more crazy-ass monsters.